Um, so my opponent claims that states that have adopted stricter gun laws um, have actually reduced murder rate. Um, but i done some research that states that that is absolutely not true. Um, according to Tony Hayes um, from the examiner.com, states that um, do not strip do, do not restrict gun ownership have on average a third a um, a 24% lower violent crime rate, a 19% lower murder rate, and a 39% lower um, robbery rate. So with less um, stringent rules, um, there seems to be a correlation with less violence. Um, and also there has been bans um, in certain parts of the country um, especially in um, Washington, D.C. And the D.C. Um, gun ban has done nothing to impact the astronomically high murder rate in the nation's capital. In fact, the murder rate in, in D.C. has increased while the nation's overall murder rate has decreased. So obviously these bans are not helping the murder rate, but they're actually making it worse. Um, and also, I'd like to talk about what my um, partner has said um, about the money being lost um, if we go forward with um, the, the new policy. Um, so basically, um, um, 2011 records show firearm industry continues to strive in a down economy. And also, according to Josh Stanberg from um, Time Business and Money Economics, um, there's a 5.1 5.1 um, billion dollars is generated by federal and state taxes by the industry. So basically saying that if we ban um, the possessions of handguns, that will severely affect our economy. Um, not only on an individual level will um, individuals be losing money, but us as a nation um, are going to be losing billions of dollars. And with their um, and the state of our economy right now, um, guns can be used to um, renovate more money for the country. And that is why um, banning the possession of handguns is not a good idea and will not work for our country.